Not so long ago, Panasonic came out with a new PTC controller, the RP150. It has a zoom rock on the joystick, one of the um, interesting things about it. And it also does have a huge touchscreen. So on this touchscreen, you can select your camera. You can also adjust various settings. And one of the things that some of you guys will miss is tactile control when you select your camera or you recall presets. And unfortunately, it's not found on this controller. But as you know, Skahoy manufactures um, broadcast panels, universal broadcast panels, and they are full of tactile control, like our four-way buttons we have on the Crosspoint 24 right here. Or it could be a rack unit with 48 buttons, like the Rack Fly Duo. Or um, allow me, if we take this one, the Crosspoint 24, sorry, Crosspoint 48, which is uh, our larger universal uh, generic button panel with OLED displays and four-way buttons. RGB back colored and all that. If you look at those controllers, you'll find that they are typically divided into the same types of sections where you have like six buttons in two rows, OLED le legends for, for each row. And we are using those for label presets and camera names or ident identification. So you will always know uh, exactly what each button does and still maintain the flexibility of the panel. So that's kind of the basics of Skahoy products. If you haven't followed us, there you go. Otherwise, uh, you will already know. But the cool thing is that the RP150 controller actually allows us to connect to it over IP. So via the Ethernet connection of the controller, we can actually send commands to select camera and to recall presets using the Crosspoint24. That's what we're going to look at in this video. So I brought a um, UE150, UE70 camera right here, and they are connected to the RP150 controller. So let's first look at what we can do with the touchscreen. So with the touchscreen, we'll select camera number one. And you'll see as I pull the joystick, we are actually controlling the camera. I'm now selecting camera number two and I am also controlling this one. I can recall presets on the panel. So you'll see I press this button, I press another button, it recalls a different preset on the UE150. Now, if you look at the Crosspoint24 panel, now notice this correspondence that as I'm changing camera, you'll see that the LED of these buttons, I'm just keeping my fingers off there. Now, uh, you see that's button number one, I now press here number two, camera number three, and likewise, if I press here camera number two, camera number one as I'm pressing the buttons on the panel. Um, camera number six, eight, and I can even page uh, beyond that. So you'll see on the Crosspoint24, I set it up to go up to like 40 cameras. And um, that's just a matter of configuration. Now, another really cool thing is, uh, let's go back to camera number one. You'll see that I have, um, no, camera number two, because that one is cool. I like that. That's a really nice camera, 4K and all the bells and whistles. Now, uh, I wanted to show you the preset because preset recall on Skahoy panels is really cool because we, uh, we add labels typically. Um, you don't have to, but you can. And that's really useful because the label will tell you what the preset is. So you can see on these buttons, which will recall presets on the, actually, I'm not right. I need to go back to, Oh, wait. No, it is 150. That one. Yes. Okay. Now, if I press this button, you'll see that I'm recalling a preset called door one. I press this button. That's preset door two and door three, etc. If I press down the shift key, you will see that those labels are changing because I programmed them with different names since those presets are obviously different. And this is really a godsend because recalling presets from a list of numbers is so difficult. So putting labels onto the OLED displays is a really, really helpful feature you'll find on Skahoy controllers for PDC control of various sorts. Now, this actually connects to that one. And that's a funny idea that one controller controls another controller. But if you invested in this one as your main PDC camera control panel, Fear not if you need tactile control because the Crosspoint 48, the Crosspoint uh, 2448 or the Ragfly Duo, basically all Skahoy panels will be able to help you out with that little issue. Mm -hmm. 